In this video today, we're going to be talking about my favorite puppy training treats. Now this might be a little surprising because my favorite puppy training treats actually aren't treats at all. I love using dog food for treats for three different reasons. The first one is it's a nice treat, but it's also very low value. So I can, and that's an important skill that I want my puppies to learn. And I want them to learn to work for low value treats, especially at home when we're doing um, simple skills like sit or, you know, just everyday house manners or things like that. I want them to be able to work for low value treats. And dog food is perfect for that because yes, I mean, it's their dog food, so they like it, but yet it's not super exciting like a hot dog or a piece of chicken or, um, you know, cheese or something super high value like that. Um, and so I, if by not using the high value treats for simple behaviors that my puppy can, you know, perform pretty well, um, with, you know, in, a, in an environment where there's not very many distractions or anything like that, I'm saving his, um, I'm, you know, I'm kind of I'm protecting his food motivation and saving the high value stuff for the more, more complicated exercises, like maybe teaching him not to, not to, um, you know, jump on somebody when he greets them, you know, polite greetings, or maybe teaching him to ignore another dog, or working on a, you know, complex behavior like healing or something like that. Um, I'm saving the high value treats for those more um, intense, difficult behaviors instead of using them on simple behaviors like sit. Um, kind of the rule of thumb in dog training is use the lowest value treat that you can get away with and dog food is usually pretty low for most dogs some dogs it isn't and that's okay but um for most dogs it's pretty low and but yet it's still a treat so that works out really well um the second reason why i really like using dog food for treats is because it's nutritionally balanced so i don't have to worry about uh, my puppy not me you know meeting his nu nutritional needs for that day if i um, give him a lot of treats throughout the day for just good manners, for going to you know going to the bathroom outside, or things like that. I don't have to worry about giving him too many treats. I can just give him as many treats as I need to, and then I can just if I you know worried about him getting too much weight or something, I can just subtract that from his daily meals, and he's still getting all of his food. He's still getting all the all those vitamins and minerals and all the nutrients he needs to grow, and I'm not having to sacrifice you know his training for health or anything like that. So that is really great. And the third reason I really like using dog, dog food as treats is because it's so much more cost effective. For example, I can buy, you know, a high quality dog food for anywhere from two to three dollars a pound. But I but in order to buy a high quality treat, I'm probably going to spend more like ten, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a pound. And that's a big that's a big difference. That's a big cost savings if I'm using dog food mostly, um, as opposed to using treats mostly, um, actually commercial treats or whatever, however you want to call them. Um, so the dog food works out really well. It's more cost effective. My puppy it's teaching him the good skill of working for a low value treat. It's um, nutritionally balanced, and all those things together make it a really ideal treat. Um, Here's a little tip though. If you want to make it just slightly more exciting for your puppy and not, you know, not his everyday food, although there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's there's absolutely nothing wrong with using his everyday food food. In fact, it's actually great. That's a great thing. But if you want to, just make it a little bit more exciting, just a little bit more different, buy a different kind of dog food and just use that different kind of dog food just for treats. So it could be just a different flavor or the brand you like, or it could be a completely different brand. You're just giving it as a treat. So it's not like, you know, you're switching his food or anything like that. Um, it, it just makes it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting. And I do that. I, I'd actually do both. I do, um, I will feed my puppy his regular food, but I also feed him I'll also feed him um, like a different brand of food or a different kind of food just to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exciting. And I find it works really well. And that's just kind of an insider tip that um, I want to share with you about like, you can just, if your puppy just needs it a little bit more exciting, that's a great way to increase the value just a little bit, but yet still keep it at a low value treat. If you like this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, um, consider sharing this anywhere else you think other puppy owners would find this helpful. Have a great day.